y'all see me next video and I'm pregnant <laughs> and I'm driving a Range Rover, just know I did what I had to do for me. Y'all, we Uber to go get lunch and everything because we were drunk and we just got back to our rental and somebody hit it in the parking lot while we were gone. We just touched down. So y'all know we have to make our first stop in and out. I'm excited, I'm gonna get animal fries. I'm getting a burger and regular fries, but I'm gonna try her animal fries in case I don't oh, like them. You sure you don't wanna go to McDonald's and get your fries over there? Where? McDonald's right there. Yeah, y'all, so I used to like live in California every now and then, so I've had in and out fries and they're not my favorite. So I might just go across the street and get McDonald's fries since Lindsay noticed it. What did they say? Oh, what did she say? Under seasoned and undercooked. <laughs> we was watching a cooking show and they, the lady said that about them. About uh, in and out fries. But yeah, so we we in Vegas. We, we getting in and out and then we're gonna check out the strip a little bit. Not really, but. And then tomorrow's the real day in Vegas. 24 hours, baby. Nah, like. Literally almost 24 hours. A little over 24 hours. Cause what, we got here at what time is it right now? Nine o'clock. It's 9 p.m. We go to Adele tomorrow night and then we fly out Sunday morning. Why would we do this to ourselves? Why do we do that to our, we've done it on a bunch of different vacate, like a bunch of different trips. Yeah, we just fly in, fly out. And then we'd be like, oh my God, we did so much in 24 hours. Because we had to. It's enough. Yes, it's yes. enough. Like for us. Yeah, I agree. Plus, we end up not having to spend a lot of money on like staying, rental car. In and out, baby. In and out. Ah. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even say that on purpose. No, for real, for real. We're in and out and we be in and out. In and out. In and out of Vegas. Oh, look at that dog in the car, in the car. Where? Right there, he ordering. Aww. What you ordering, Buki? Look. Oh, y'all already know what we had in. Where we had it, baby? To the slots. Oh, I thought you were gonna say strip club. Oh. <laughs> we not going to the strip club, we're going to the slots. Yeah, yeah, we going. No, but we are going to a, a drag queen brunch tomorrow, and that's like strip club vibes. Yeah, like we'll throw ones at oh, the queens. We, you know I'm throwing money at the queens. Y'all already know. If y'all ain't see Houston Pride, go check it out because your girl be throwing money. This is Vegas. Oh my goodness. It's like the movies. Y'all know how much I love movies. It feels so cool. It's lit, babe. What are we gonna do? I'm go to sleep. <laughs> If you've been with us on any other vlog, y'all know. Look at my eyes. We just got in. It's basically like 1 a.m. for us, so we're just gonna Shout go to the, um, hotel. Go to sleep. In and out was really good to me. She got nauseous, but yeah. I just had a whole thing happen, y'all. I don't know what just happened. I. Started to eat the burger and then I started to get really sick. Like, just feel like I was gonna throw up. So, so my entire mood is different. Yeah, but burger was eight out of 10. So how you feel about Vegas with me? I feel great about Vegas with you. I'm excited tomorrow. Even though I was just really nauseous and almost ruined the whole trip tonight because I had to throw up. Well, I mean, yeah. You're <laughs> I'm glad it was just because you were nauseous because your mood went like this. Yeah, I did. And I, I was like, what What happened? Uh, I'm sorry. It's okay, but then I realized you were nauseous, so that makes sense. 
Oh my god, look at that. It looks pretty. It does look pretty. Okay, Vegas, show us what you got, little mama. Show us what you got, Shawnee. Hey. Hands up now. Wave. Supposed to say wave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go to sleep, baby. I'm sorry you said it because I was thinking it. But okay, y'all, we're gonna check in back, check back in when we get to our hotel because it's a wrap for us, baby. It's a wrap for us, baby. Really? She's going <laughs> It's a wrap for oh, us, baby. baby. You didn't invite me in the shower with you after you left our bed at 7 a.m. this morning. Yeah. To go to the gym for two hours and left me here all alone. I mean, you got me breakfast from the hotel and brought it back, but you left me here for two hours all alone. Came back and then you said, I'm going to get in the shower. And I got sad because you didn't invite me. Okay, we've been together almost well, four and a half years. And when I say I'm showering, that's an implication. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's not an implication. It doesn't mean nothing. You have to invite me. She said, it's not an she said, no, you can't charge your phone because what did you just do? I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> she said, you, and then I was sitting here trying to figure it out for like a minute. And then she said, you didn't invite me in the shower. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and she says, I drive her crazy. Uh, give me, give me a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go shower. But no, it's day one or two, whatever you want to say. Those. We just woke up. Waking up in Vegas. Waking up in Vegas. Waking up in Vegas. Waking up in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, so I went to the gym. I got my pump on. Uh, my baby was waiting for me here in the bed. I brought her breakfast <laughs> and a toothbrush. Yeah, because I forgot my toothbrush. I always forget something. So we're going to get ready to go to... Where are we going, baby? Drag queen brunch. I'm about to get up since I was invited in the shower. So we'll update y'all when we're ready to go. I'm excited. Oh <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Making a roast about you on a TikTok. You roasting me? <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> What'd you say? Look at us. Ooh, ooh. We ready? I feel like I should do the black pants instead of the jeans. What black pants you got? Leather black ones. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go full yeah, biker. Yeah, let change it. All right. I'll do my fit check while she changes. Hat. Um, it's like a brimless cap. I got it in Portland. This leather jacket is from Target like five years ago. Black tee, black pants, Converse. And my baby's gonna change. Cause oh, she don't know. like her pants. Ooh, you got the old the ones? Pants. Yeah. She, this oh, girl got two leather We were rushing! I thought you said well, you're, well, you're rushing me right now. Um. She had a pair of leather pants that she wore down. Yeah. And then she had to buy a new pair of leather pants to wear down. But she brought the old leather pants. And the other leather pants. But they I look have, the same. No, the other leather pants I have are like fitted. These are tight. Oh. The other ones are fitted. These are like leggings. Plus, these ones I wore so long, the back pocket is falling off. <laughs> you can see it? No. Oh, okay. Wow, we're really doing the leather thing. Yes, sir. <gasps> She's about to hit a million followers. Like, maybe today. We're two minutes away from the brunch place. All dressed up nice and spiffy. We like a couple lesbians in our little leather jackets. We like a couple lesbians. We really do. Because <laughs> we really is lesbians. So I gotta figure out where we're going. Yeah. In the meantime, um, quick ring check you know just make sure it's still popping it's still glistening y'all see the glisten y'all see the glow look at mine oh wait what were we talking about again <laughs> mm. <laughs> i'm not getting uh, <laughs> all right they need to go they need to hurry yeah y'all need to move you want me to hunt the horn for no. you no 
We trying to go. We got places to go. Drag queens to see. Money to throw. Let's go. And food to eat. And, and drinks to, to drink. You gonna drink? Yeah, I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink. Oh, get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, and I don't know how to act because we- I forgot my water. You can get water at the restaurant. She is crazy about this damn water bottle that I hate that she bring around. <laughs> Cause where were you even gonna put the water bottle? You don't have no bag. I was gonna hold it and I walk around Vegas holding a water bottle. Yes. No, y'all. I don't know how to act because we're in a little BMW rental and I feel fancy. Oh, I'm manifesting this life for us. <laughs> Not BMW per se, but just like I was a nice say, car. I have, like, the BMW. Or like we get like a nice family car because you know we are a little family. Me, you, and Bryson. We need a Range Rover. I think I'm gonna get pregnant so she can get me a push gift and I can get a Range Rover. <laughs> oh when y'all see me next video and I'm pregnant <laughs> and I'm driving a Range Rover, just know I did what I had to do for me. I did what I had to do for me and my son. We're, I'm tired of taking him to the groomers and my little hoopty. My and thing is like, if you about to have a baby, what? why would you want your, <laughs> your car payment to go up like $100 a month too? If the same time. I'm about to have a baby. Like, eat us. Like, if we're about to have a baby. I don't care what the car payment goes to as long as I can afford it. Because <laughs> that would mean we can afford it. But anyways, back to my point. Me and my son are tired of pulling up to the groomers and doggy dates and my hoopty. And we don't know if we're going to make it. Because my car making a weird sound every time <laughs> I make a right turn. And it's only when I make a right turn, not when I make a left. When I turn she, the wheel right, it'd be like, listen. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. She does not have no hoopty. <laughs> I mean, it act like a hoopty. <laughs> I got a, what I got? A 2017 Hyundai Elantra. But y'all know, I always got beef with some company. And right now I'm beefing with Hyundai because this is my second Hyundai. And the first one I just thought was beat down because I got it in college and I didn't do my research. But this time, not only did I do my research, I bought the top researcher with me, Lindsay's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Come on now, your daddy know his stuff. He be looking up every anything. He's so smart. Yeah. So I don't know what happened there, but <laughs> I literally bought her daddy with me. Yeah, and, and he like, helped me pick the car. Her car just be acting up like randomly, but so it might as well be a hoopty because my mama old car that she had from like 2002 lasted her like 20 damn years, and that was a Toyota. So maybe it's just the Hyundai. Toyotas are really good. Yeah, I think it might be Hyundai's, but. Beef for Hyundai, if you work with them, let me let me know. Let me know. You look really sexy. Thank you, baby. You look like a vampire in a movie that, like, you know, like, you want to ask me if I want to live forever with you? Because I do. Yeah, every day I look like something else. She'll be like, oh, you look like a boxer. <laughs> oh, you look like an NBA, WNBA player. I'm like, no, I do not. And all of them is sexy. <laughs> But today, a lot of times it is vampire for some reason. Okay, because of, okay, y'all, comment below. Let me know. I feel like the leather jacket gives Damon Salvatore. Come on now, all real Vampire Diary fans know leather jacket Damon Salvatore. I feel like it just gives biker chick. No, it doesn't give biker chick. It gives hot vampire. Okay. You my fanfic. You my woo. <laughs> you my little what past story. I know, literally, <laughs> literally. They don't even know. <laughs> Y'all. Y'all, go follow her on What Pack because she has a whole book. And it sounds like she's talking about me. Or us. Y'all. But it was before she even met me. Y'all, why I wrote a, well, when I was in a closet, I wrote a whole What Pack book. But I remember, let me, okay. I never finished it. I'm like, how many chapters in? Maybe eight chapters in? I feel like more, yeah, maybe eight. No, I feel like more than that. I read it. I read it all. Well, I was, and then she had people commenting like, "Oh, I can't wait for next chapter." <laughs> wait, why well, one of the commenters was me? Are you serious? I was young and I. Was hey! Like, oh my god, it's probably the one I was commenting the most, and I was like, "Damn, this girl was a fan." <laughs> no, no, the one I was commenting the oh. most was this girl that lived in like another country. She lived in like Germany or something. We was DMing. Oh. Not on nothing like romantic, just like friends, just like two girls in a closet talking. Yeah. About oh, how it, it was to good. Be in the like closet. I liked the book. I was into it. Y'all. If y'all get this video to 20k, I will release the link to the what past story. And it's juicy. I got some some triple X scenes. 20k in there. what? 20k views. Oh, okay. Y'all get this video to 20k views and I will release 
the link to my what past story it was good though y'all it was like 50 shades of gray with lesbians and i was in a closet so i had like an anonymous name anonymous fake profile picture like that was a long time ago that was like 10 years ago no six or seven years ago because it was before i met you yeah cute but oh i'm embarrassed i'm like smiling hard oh don't be embarrassed why are you embarrassed because I was writing fan fiction. Well, actually, that wasn't fan fiction. It was just... Yeah, because it wasn't about anybody. But it kind of was fan fiction because I based it off of two um, celebrities. So, like, the main girl was supposed to look like... Um, uh, Zoe Kravitz. No. Alec Baldwin had a daughter named Ireland, and she was actually gay in real life. And she was dating this rapper at the time. I forgot her name. She was dating a black rapper, so I thought they were so cute together. Oh, okay. And you kind of remind me of Ireland. She's like blonde, really oh, the pretty. Girl, the, oh, okay, that one, yeah. That's who I based it off of because at the time, they were all over Tumblr, over like lesbian Tumblr. And then the other character was supposed to be based off of Cassie. The same Cass because she fine, fine. She is fine as fuck. 20,000 views on this video and I will drop that link.
No, why would she look like that? Like that good? So good. We see her tonight. We gonna be singing and dancing and waving it at her. Hey. hey Cause Kate Austin told us um, that we need to be dancing because that's gonna help her come say hey to us when she walked through the aisle. So Kate Austin, you better be right. <laughs> Y'all know, if y'all know Kate, you know she's the biggest Adele fan. Oh, we're at the casino! We gonna win some money! All right, right now. We, we like the phrase, um, everything works out for us. Everything works out for us. We gonna let y'all know how that go. Here we go. All right, so we ended up at the Adele store and got merch. Ah! Since we're here at Caesars Palace to gamble, we figured we might as well. We Uber to go get lunch and everything because we were drunk and we just got back to our rental and somebody hit it in the parking lot while we were gone. Somebody hit our car. Yeah, we're good. But somebody hit it, bro. Shit sucks. What? Bro. That camera like. It's not even facing us. Yeah, but you never know what that camera can see. What? Like they just hit it like. Should I ask them? I'm gonna ask them. Well, they're gonna check the cameras <laughs> and see what they can do for us, but they don't even know if it's like in frame. Yeah. We were trying to be responsible, y'all. We were so drunk earlier, y'all saw. So we Ubered, Ubered. And they hit our car, the rental. So hopefully that camera right there got it. That's the camera. That's the camera. Hopefully. I like don't think really so though. Like, what the, the camera's facing literally all the way back there, but we'll see. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we are ready for Adele. Um, temporarily past the fact that somebody hit the rental car and said absolutely nothing. I forgot about it again. <laughs> I keep forgetting about it. That sucks. Yeah. 
It is what it is, though. And it is what it is. But we're all dressed, ready for a doubt. We don't think we can bring the camera, but we're gonna maybe take some stuff on our phones, but really try to like enjoy ourselves. Yeah, I think we should leave the camera here. We got a Zara coat. I don't know where these pants are from. They're old. I got the panda ones and this shirt that I have in every color from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I got this dress from Revolve and this teddy bear jacket is from who knows. I don't know. <laughs> I've had it for a long time. Like it has a paper clip in it. <laughs> <laughs> don't keep the pocket from falling. <laughs> I don't have no jackets. I don't have no jackets. Yeah, it looks cute. That was good. That was a good choice. Y'all, I only own like three jackets, like that are good for like real, real cold weather. So, uh, paper clip jacket, gotta make it do with it. <laughs> that, and I've worn my leather jacket like 20 times. So I just could not put the leather jacket on again today. We are back from the best concert ever. Ever. Yeah, Lindsay's in the bathroom because she don't feel too well right now. But it was so good. First of all, when I tell y'all, we did not expect to be that close to Adele. Like we was in like, I don't even know. We were so close. We could have probably brought our camera. Yes, we could have probably brought our camera, but you know, we don't be wanting to risk anything. Too late, but yeah, it's okay. But we were so close. Like we could see her makeup, like on her face what and it was like row f and we kept walking up we kept walking up and i'm like is this right and then we kept walking and we kept walking and then i'm like we are right next to the stage it was crazy good morning it's day two waking up in vegas <laughs> i didn't update the vlog camera last night because i was not feeling too good yeah so we got in last night we ubered back to our hotel and Victoria wanted me to tell y'all about the Uber driver. She was crazy, <laughs> but she was funny. She was so she funny. She was funny then. <laughs> yeah. So first like we had her pick us up at this like different spot, not the ride share spot because it was supposedly less crowded, but nobody could find us <laughs> there. So we had like three, three Uber drivers cancel on us. So that was the first thing. So she was trying to find us and she was just like- Freaking out about that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we get in the car and we pull out of the parking garage and the security is telling everybody, you got to go right. You got to go right. She said, no, no, I'm not going right. I'm not going right. He's like, you have to go right. She's like, no. no. And I thought she was joking because she was a little goofy and she was very much serious. She was serious. Like she was going to the left and they were standing right there like she was about to run over them. They had cones. They had man and neon. She did not care. She was like, no, I'm not going right. It's too much traffic. It's too much traffic. I'm not going right. I'm not going right. She just was driving slowly like to the left. And then he was like, fine damn like go if you want to run your mouth or whatever f it i'm tired of you talking or something like that but she was right like, if we would have turned right we would have had we would have been in so much traffic and we had to do like a whole u-turn but she really put her foot down huh and then I was she like, kept, that was badass uh-huh and then she kept like just like talking about it she was like they're crazy they're crazy they're not security they're poli i mean they're not police they're security <laughs> Like, I'm not going right or whatever, but she was lit. Y'all know I was in the backseat encouraging her. Like, that was so badass because you right there, not the police. They're just security. <laughs> she like, that's just Caesar Palace security. <laughs> she was funny. But she got us home safely. So mm -hmm. we just came back and 
literally got in bed and talked about the concert and then went to sleep. And it was amazing. Woke up and talked about the concert. Yeah. You put clips in there? Yeah, I'll put like two clips. We only took two. It was so amazing. Adele is amazing. Yeah. Maybe we can see her one day again. Yeah. There was this moment last night where Lindsay was like crying. And it sounds crazy, but it was like such a beautiful moment. Like, I was like, I just love you so much. Aww. But, like, I don't know. It was very much you, you know, so I knew that it was, like, a little painful. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was, like, I had to stop myself from, like, really going over the edge. <laughs> you were kind of teetering at the edge. <laughs> like, she was at the edge. I don't really know how what would have took her over. No, I was, like, ready <laughs> to, like, just lose it, honestly. It was... It was a whole thing, but so Adele was like walking out in the audience and like talking to people like, what's your name? Like, where are you from? And, you know, people are so excited that she came up to them. And this one family, um, it was the daughter and her partner and then the mom and the siblings or something. And they were talking and then the mom said that she had lost her son, James. James McLaughlin and she was like crying and Adele started crying and she was just like I'm just so happy to be here like you got me through it or like you get me through it and stuff like that and then Adele was like this one's for James or whatever and she started singing when we were young and it just reminded me like of my brother and I was thinking of how that mom probably felt to have Adele say that about her son. And like, I was thinking about my mom and like about my brother, Peter, and it was just crazy. And all the pictures were coming up of, young, of Adele. A young Adele and the memories and stuff. And I know that that mom was just thinking of like her son and I was just like, fuck, I'm gonna cry right now, but yeah. And it was really nice that she even remembered her name to like dedicate it to him. I mean, mm -hmm. remember his name to dedicate it to him. Yeah. Sweet. It was amazing. So She'll never forget that. Ever, 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 ever. So I was like crying a lot. <laughs> but I held it together and we got through. And then that was like toward, kind of towards the end, I think. Mm -hmm. But it was insane. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Glad we came to Vegas for Adele. But now we're gonna get up. Our room is a mess. How did we get here? We only been here for two days. It shouldn't even be looking like this <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's a, like it's insane. Yeah. But it was cause like we were just doing so much. We had to like go go go. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get up, pack up, and go to breakfast. Victoria found a good breakfast spot. So. Yeah, they better hit too, cause I'm hungry, y'all. And I think I was hungover at a day last night. That's what Lindsay told me, cause I thought I was sick yeah she because we had gotten you know we went to brunch and at brunch she was like drunk yeah we got a little lit and then but we didn't drink the whole rest of the day so by the end of the night it, <laughs> well you were hung over like i would have been i just wasn't i don't know why I but i was sick and, and so I don't know, you're like, but she was like my stomach hurts like i'm nauseous and i was like i think you're hung over <laughs> and she was like oh. I thought that happens when you go to sleep and you wake up. And I'm like, well, not if you drink at 11 a.m. <laughs> I really did think that. Am I the only one that thought that? Like, I truly thought if you go to sleep after drinking, that's when you can have a hangover. Oh, you thought it was because of the sleep. I don't know. I just thought it was like a reset. Like, I didn't know, like, if I drink at 10, 10 a.m. by 6 p.m., even if I'm up all day, I'm be hungover. That's crazy. It's Why would I drink at 10 a.m.? <laughs> I'd rather go to sleep and have the if morning. You go to a drag brunch. <laughs> If you, it's just basically you're dehydrated. Like, that's yeah. all a hangover is, is dehydration. So, it can Ugh. happen at any time. I'm not drinking again until truth or drink with y'all. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> until truth or drink with y'all. Because we love y'all for whatever reason. Yeah. Side eye. Y'all, so, you know, just in case we forgot here's our reminder why when i first walked to the car i took i was like asking like did we trip like is there anything there because from this angle i couldn't see nothing and i was like oh my god <laughs> sucks 
sucks, bro. We'll see what we'll see what we gotta do. Yeah, wish us luck, y'all. Wow, y'all, look at this. I'm about to go ham. Why do we always order the whole menu, babe? Because we gotta try everything. How are we gonna try everything? You know? But this is like big portions. I love it. About to bust down. All right, so um, we got to the airport and we went to the rental car service. Lindsay started trying to make a claim, but we never filed a police report. <laughs> so I mean, we were just like, "What the heck?" Like we were just, we didn't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, we like it's like now it makes sense that we should have, but at the time we were just like, "Well." We were ready to go. We were tired too. We were trying to go to the hotel. So we tried to file a police report, but the police station is closed today. And we're leaving. So now we have to try to figure that out this week while we're gone. Yeah, so. We'll but on to positive, that out. On to yeah. positive stuff. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. It was yeah. fun. It was very fun. Was fun, quick trip to one Vegas. Trips. Yeah, it was one of my faves too. Even though it was just one day. <laughs> Literally one day. <laughs> But we went to a breakfast spot today and it was so good. We got breakfast tacos, we got french toast, we got pancakes, we got a bowl. Steak bowl. And shout out to Chanel at Scrambled. Yeah. She came up to us and she said hey, so that was really nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're at the airport now. We're gonna head back to ATL. We got so much to do on ATL. Yeah, we, we got the freaking contractor who's been in the house all weekend um, building the fireplace wall unit. And then the closet window is really, really messed up for lack of better words. Like, something wrong with the closet window. So, so the people are coming to fix that tomorrow. And the closet console people to like fix our closet so that we can have room to put clothes and shoes and everything. That's all tomorrow. So we're coming back into a bunch, and this is the contractor calling now. <laughs> Hello. Hey. We love you guys so much. We'll see you next Tuesday. And as always, don't forget to sorry, like, comment, subscribe. Here he is. <laughs> Bye. Wait, we have one more announcement. <laughs> no. Let me see. <laughs> Did you already see that earlier? I just saw it. <laughs> I just hit a milli. She just hit a just milli. Hit a milli. A milli. A milli. <laughs> and go do a little da dance, celebration dance. <laughs> right now in the middle of Yeah. Right. I just hit a milli. Hey. I just hit a milli. Hey. <laughs> Oh my oh god, my baby. Did you already know? I just checked it and I had to get the camera back out. Oh. We've been looking, we've been like refreshing it and stuff. Y'all know I've been working so hard to get here and I was really nervous. One, I want to say thank you to everybody and thank y'all for y'all support. It means so, so much to me because social media has literally changed my life, our yep. lives. Thank you so much. And also, thank y'all for being willing to just stick along with us with whatever we put out there because y'all know we're doing house content now. Thought. Yeah. Y'all thought we would be doing house content. So, thank y'all so much for supporting us. It means so much. The love, the support, it means more than y'all know. Like, when we see y'all out in public and come up to us, it, it always warms our heart. Like, we love talking to you guys. Victoria has worked so hard. Like, I think, you know, I've said it before, but I'm so proud of you. And it literally has changed her life. And, like, you know, that sounds like, oh, like, so crazy or whatever, but it's just a fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would be doing a completely different job right now that you that did I not, that you did not like it at all. Where I was racially harassed at. Yeah. yeah, and it would have just been like getting by and. Go to bill. Yeah. And now you do something that you genuinely love. We, like the love and support, like I said, is amazing. And yeah, I'm just I'm very happy for you. And yeah. So that's lit. What a nice way to end our Vegas trip. I'm sweating, that's crazy. Good job, baby. I'm proud of you. Good job. Wow. <laughs>